Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and we're going to be going through some Godot visual scripting because I can't program to save the life of me. So I've been using Godot for a little bit. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to use visual scripting, actually not really, a little bit, on how to change the text size in the text area field, okay? Now, if you want to learn more Godot, please subscribe, like, and let me know in the comments below that this is the stuff you want to know. So with the rich text selected, what I'm going to do is scroll down to our custom fonts. I'm going to put a tick, tick next to the normal font, and then I'm just going to go new dynamic font, and we lose everything. Okay, that's fine. From here, what we're going to do is if I click on setting, you can see that increasing the number, it does nothing. It does nothing. So what we need to do is actually give it a font. But where do we get this font data from? So what I'm going to do is open up Windows Explorer. Let's go into the C drive. There we go. I'm going to go into Windows and click on Fonts. Now let's find a font. I'm just going to probably just go Arial. Let's go double click on that one and go regu Arial Regular. I'm going to click and drag, plop it in there. Let's just minimize that for now. From here, I'm just going to click and drag Arial all the way to the side and dump it there. Alternatively, I could have pressed the drop down and actually selected the font. And now we've got the option to change our font. So there we go. We can increase our size. If you find that it's kind of clipping, if we keep increasing, you can kind of see that we lose it. Just readjust the box size. So what we can do from here as well, we can save this dynamic font. And I'm just going to call it new dynamic font. Why not? And then I can go to, for instance, to the subscribe button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Um, let's go fonts put a tick next to that. I'm going to click and drag and dump it in there, which I'm hiding behind. So let's clear it and let's just go load right there. Bam. So now we've got the same font as above. 